And we are live on Bullhorn. Hello, Nick Martin. How's it going, man? Dude, I'm fantastic. Good, mm -hmm. good. So we are we are live on the Bullhorn app. And of course, thank you to our sponsors, sponsored in part locally here by KMVU Fox 26 and Great Notion Brewing out of Portland. At Nick's got it ready, rocking and rolling. Uh, go to the Great Notion Brewing, uh, download the app, either for Apple or Android, and uh, enter the code DADCAST10 to get yourself a awesome little discount action going on and experience the best beer in the world delivered cold to your door. Nick, this is a, a, a guest list episode here live on the Bullhorn app. Yeah. And it's pretty intriguing if you ask me. <laughs> um, you know, normally we're all about talking dad life and having guests on who are dads, et cetera, et cetera. Not necessarily needing to be a dad, but, you know, that is our basic theme. So for today's episode, I, I don't want to actually announce what exactly we are doing. I'm going to let you announce what exactly we are doing. But before we get into that, uh, how's the last week of your life been? It's been super, super stressful and weird and like just different. So stressful getting... and weird. Well, yeah. I was in Vegas for the last week and I actually <laughs> got to go into what and here's a drop, Sticky Paws Studios. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, in I Las Vegas. The behind the scenes videos, man. I'm a little jealous. Yeah. Where Brian like, Hopkins is from Brian. <laughs> Brian Hopkins has a brand new podcast, a Hero's Journey podcast. I was uh, honored to be a guest on the show. We wish you were there. We missed you. Um, I believe I'm going to be number now episode number four uh, yeah. when it does come out, and I believe he's dropping episode one next week, maybe this week sometime. This whole weekend thing is throwing me off. Holiday weekend. It's Monday, but it still feels like last week and the weekend. And no, it feels like Saturday today. It does Here. and welcome yeah. to the summer and happy Memorial Day weekend too. By the way, for everyone yeah. listening and watching. Um, but this studio, man, it it's amazing. And we we'll talk about it off the air, but holy crap! Yeah, yeah. But you should see Ooh. inside and and how it's run. You know the the nitty gritty, yeah. the stuff that I really like. Yeah, uh, that's what Dad Cash is going to do, man. If if that's that, it's going to happen. And it everyone else who has an inspiring it's podcast just, idea, we're going to hook you up with our studios. Yeah, it's coming. It Almost. is coming. And then, uh, then, so I did that like the first day I was there. And then I went to wrestling, AEW. There was an event. And I ended up getting ringside tickets, man. <laughs> oh, it was so awesome. And hanging out with my buddy and just doing the normal gambling thing. And it was a good, good, uh, good relaxation, unwinding, blew off some steam week for me. But we are now back at it. And now that we've recapped the first week, live here on Bullhorn, Dadcast, Nick Martin, um, I, I, I give the conch to you. All right. So I'm just going to hold up this little thing, and then we'll go from there. That so looks like to me a pregnancy test. It's, it's a COVID test. No. Oh. It's a, no, it's, it's a pregnancy test, yes. So as everybody knows, my wife and I have been going through IVF. We had our first baby, Liam, with IVF, and we've tried it again and again. The last time we tried, we got pregnant, and she lost the baby. So we decided to wait for a few months, and we tried again. We got a positive pregnancy test five days after the uh, the embryo transfer thing. And so it's been like super exciting. And then you got to go and do the blood work. That's where right. the stress came in. So the first blood test was awesome. The levels were where it needed to be super good. 48 hours later, second blood test was like, uh-oh, levels didn't rise enough. So we're like, oh, no, we lost another one or we're, something bad's going to happen. Right. And then so the doctor's like, go back in 24 hours and let's just see where it's at. So 24 hours later, the blood test was amazing. So here we are. In two weeks, we get to find out if there's more than one baby in there. So that's now it's like, ah, oh, <laughs> what are we going to do with more than one baby? I don't know what you're doing right now at 40, how, 42. 42. For, I don't know what the hell you're doing now at 42 years old with just the one baby. You just had a two-year-old birthday. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so yeah, he just turned two. And now you're talking days. possible twins to come in? Yeah. Well, hey, well, you know, if, if there's a light... Like, there's going to be nine babies in there. Yeah, this is... Oh. <laughs> right? I'm like, no! <laughs> Screw it. I'm saying it on the air live now. If there's nine babies, nine! <laughs> okay, eight, no deal. But if there's nine, yeah. if there's nine babies in there, Jen and I will take one of them. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. I guarantee Done. it, Shishi. I don't even need to ask. I don't even need to ask. 
Done. <laughs> <We're> gonna, <laughs> here's the other now we got to find eight other homes. <laughs> right. But but if anything here, the uh, the uh. <laughs> excuse me, man, been dealing with some some sickness, man. So uh, the light at the end of the tunnel for this for me is that it we're guaranteed some new content for exactly. a while now. Yeah, so keep it up. Gonna, there's going to be some dad fills. There's going to be all kinds of craziness happening. I can totally guarantee it. <laughs> Especially so, if there's twins. Holy crap. As a guy going through, uh, I mean, I, I, I can only imagine. Um, you know, we typically tend to focus on the mom and, and the woman who goes through this process, which is perfectly fine and normal. And no, no, by no reach of the word am I, am I dogging that fact. Uh, much or mad respect for all the women that go through this. But since we have this platform and you are a man who's gone through this process mm. successfully and had some fails, what does that do to your psyche, man? I mean, how are you? And are you good? Is it, <laughs> is it a roller coaster? What is this like? It's, it's definitely a roller coaster. I, I wouldn't say that I'm good or bad. It's just kind of, there's always that thought of if something goes south, am I going to be enough to make it better? And like that, just being the dad, being the husband, like you want to make it better, but this, like you, you just can't. Like if if you lose a baby, you just can't make it better. You just have to figure out how to deal with it and and move on. So that's been kind of the the hard part for me. Like the when we lost the baby last time was dealing with that, not talking about it, just kind of sucking it up and dealing with my wife and what hurt what she was going through, and then realized, man. I'm really kind of messed up over this. Like, it, it isn't that it. isn't that the major pickle? I mean, I, yeah, I, I've kind of gone through the same type of thing um, with you know Jen and her cancer, and mm -hmm. they're two separate issues. But it's the same time they're still emotionally um, the right. same when it comes to us. We, you know, as men, are tasked with being the supportive husband and father, and and the, being the man. Um, mm -hmm. and, and doing everything in our power to comfort a horrible situation on that end, picking up the slack. And we don't really discuss, and we kind of, even if we want to, we just kind of bury all those feelings of what it's doing to us at the same yeah. time. And that's, no, man, we got to change that perspective. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's, yeah. If you need help, because I, I, I sucked it all up through too, you know, and mm -hmm. I, I think it, it, it's already the repercussions of that emotionally. Yeah, probably. Um, it, it's so talk about it, man. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just weird. So if like any other guys are going through this, where like the whole IVF thing, or even not IVF, and you're trying to have a baby and it's it's not working or it does work, and you have a miscarriage, I uh, you know the number one thing is just be there and listen. Don't try to make it better. Like trying to make it better almost makes it worse. Trying to right trying to fix everything and put it all back together and just, you know, saying it's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. It sucks. It's definitely like saying it's going to be okay. Is stupid. It's just, it's just get that out of your head because it, it, the whole situation sucks and you just, just be there, just listen and be there. And that's kind of what I've learned over the last year and a half of going through all this stuff and, um, and talk about it. Don't bottle it up because it leads to fights and all kinds of stuff where, you start feeling like you're not good enough. You start feeling like, am I worth it? Does she want to stay with me? That kind of stuff. So it's kind of all kinds of weird, uncomfortable, stupid feelings that come out. Did you ask any of those questions during, or did you find yourself not asking for the sake of, I'm not going to pile more stress on this poor woman who's been. I, I didn't talk about it until honestly, like about three weeks ago. You know, it was just, I just didn't want to bring it up. I wanted her to deal with what she was dealing with. And then when we started this process, I think we started this process like six weeks ago. And then I kind of started talking about it a little bit, talking about my feelings of what happened last time and going forward. Like, I don't definitely don't want to do it again. I don't want to feel the way I felt again. And so I'm glad where we're at now. Now it's just waiting to see what the, what happens with the, uh, ultrasound and you know making sure you hear the heartbeat that kind of stuff right so as, as for all as for everyone concerned is it at this point now is it uh which i'd say like relatable to any normal pregnancy at this point like now it's just going to make sure to, it's healthy because you have a positive pregnancy test there's yeah uh, it's there's a baby it's still, in there 
it's still a little different. Like I, it's as far as how many tests go, like I have friends that just they're found out they're pregnant and they're kind of, they get one blood test and then it's weeks and weeks and weeks and they do an ultrasound to hear the baby's heart. So right. we're on, we're doing blood test after blood test after blood test to make sure levels are rising. Everything's good. And then there's multiple ultrasounds. It's not just one to figure it out. It's lots of ultrasounds, lots of trips to the, fertility specialist to make sure everything's good to go. And then we roll into, I think like month three or four, we roll into going to the, just a regular OBGYN. And then that, then it gets a little bit more normal. Okay. Once, once the baby develops a little bit more and you're further in, then it gets a little more normal. Then it's just a countdown. Now but, in this, in this particular, uh, um, for lack of a better way to put it, implant, uh, <laughs> Was it predetermined uh, the gender? No. Okay, so you're not going to – oh, and uh -oh, hope I didn't strike any nerves. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you, you can fight with me all you want, but, you know, I am a guy who believes that, you know, you, you have the, the characteristics of a, a man or a woman. So, you know, <laughs> and I'm, all I'm the others. I'm sure we're having a girl. Like, everything okay. – Is that what you feel? That's what I feel, and just the the difference in how she's her body's changing, and like she has morning sickness this time. She didn't with Liam. She's I mean she's extremely sick all the time. Then she wasn't that way with Liam. Okay, she's tired. She wasn't that way. She's show her. She's already starting to show a little bit on the top of her belly and not the bottom of her belly like she did last time. So different, hmm. a lot of differences. And Liam is hundred percent convinced there's a sister in his mama's tummy. So, <laughs> and you know, it's, it's very difficult to discount those things that children know that us yeah. as adults don't know, or we did know, but we just forgot all about them. There's, mm -hmm. you know, a sixth sense to that. So yeah, that would be very, very interesting. Now, if it comes out a boy though, then, you know. Yeah. Uh, Liam's going to have to apologize for saying it's right. a little sister. I <laughs> would recommend though, because I know you and your family to hold back on buying a crap ton of pink things until we know. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, as, as soon as we find out, we're going to, we'll, we'll probably. But put then again, there. if there's nine in there, then I got to start getting prepared too. Crap. If, if there's nine in there, there's a, a good possibility. One is going to be a girl. If they're all boys. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you got a whole, got a whole basketball team ready exactly. to rock. Exactly. Football team actually. Yeah. Wow. It, so uh, what are the odds? I'm curious. I mean, we, we joke about that, but are the odds of twins or more like, prevalent there is it is it very the odds very of twins are very 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 possible more than twins I, I don't know um like the the embryos that they transferred this time were incredible like we we looked at we compared them to the embryos they transferred for liam and they weren't nearly as good as the ones that got transferred this time so the possibility of twins is pretty high wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> can we have a twin if that's the case is that is that is no no Okay. All right. I don't <laughs> no, need another baby anyway, man. I'm 47 years old. Okay. Like, the next baby that enters my life will be a grandchild, I hope. Grand, yeah, that you can give back. <laughs> give them back and yeah, still love up on them. And yeah. Oh my god. But I still got some time for that. Who I, I better yeah. have some time for that, Chloe. Yeah, All at right. least two years, Chloe. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, 10 years it would be a street. She's gonna be in 10 years, she'll be 28. Yeah, that's that's perfect. so. Sometime within the next ten years, it's preferably five or later. Uh, you know, what? ten years is a good number. Yeah, fifty-seven yeah. is a good year, good number yeah. to be become a grandpa for the first yeah. time. You can start letting right. it race though. You can stop Maybe. dying. That. Yeah, yeah. So. I went to Vegas, man. I had to look. It's starting to peak three though, with this yep. beautiful camera. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Yeah, nice. So wow, man, what a yeah. crazy roller coaster emotional ride you have been through. Hopefully, things uh, are, are a little less stressful now and we're down that path of uh, ease and at yeah. least for you um it's only going to get a little bit more stressful for mama especially when it comes to uh, birth time then it all kicks in we all know i'm already freaking out like how like liam's hard like liam is a tough kid how are we going to have more you than, adapt man more than one under three well you know what it's funny you, you know he's going to be close to three years old mm -hmm. when this next child is born um, um, between my kids, Sawyer and Avery. They're about close to that same difference in age. Yeah. 
Um, I'd say more like closer to three years, but close enough for this uh, comparison. Um, Sawyer wasn't a handful. I mean, he really wasn't. He was a good kid. He listened, you know, cried as much as any other baby would and everything. Um, and then Avery came along and we said the same thing. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so difficult. But, you know, I, I think back to that time, it, it was just is what it was. You know, it wasn't difficult. It wasn't not difficult. It was something that, you know, in a, a, a flip switched, a flip switch, a switch flipped. Yes. <laughs> One of those things flipped. And uh, it's just, it was business as usual. This is what has to be done. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. And uh, we went through it and, you know, looking back on it, it's it's never easy, but right. it wasn't horrible, and you'd be just fine, and you'll be surprised at well, how so much growth Liam is going to experience yeah. and actually help with this baby because the time that baby, you know, no one's touching that kid other than you and mommy for the first year, essentially. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's that's oh, yeah. all the care. So yeah. by then, Liam's going to be close to four years old, right. and he can babysit at that point. We're good. <laughs> he just can't leave the house. <laughs> But you know what I mean? You'll be surprised at what he can do, man. This yeah. is going to be a crazy journey. Yeah, so I can't wait to follow on, along. My, on the middle kids, right? Ashton, Emma, and Dylan. Okay, mm -hmm. so when they were all little, they are all within a year or two years of each other. I left Dylan in a freaking shopping cart at Walmart when he was a newborn. You did? Ashton ran off at the mall one time and hid under clothes, and it took me hours to find him. That's what I'm scared of. It's like, man, what, what kind of shenanigans are going to happen? How many times am I going to leave the new baby in a shopping cart at Walmart? Preferably none. Yeah, that's that's what Preferably I'm Preferably none. Um, we think we've grown and learned from said lesson, plus you're older. <laughs> um, and, you know, granted, it's only two. And, yeah. and, you know, I would suggest a simple thing when walking through uh, the, the mall slash Walmart is a tight grip on the hand of William when, or Liam when walking through. Because yeah. everyone's going to be in a stroller. That right. way he can't run off. Well, I'm thinking leash. Like I know, <laughs> I've seen pop. those, man, and I I disagree so hard every time really? I see a kid on a leash. And but then at the same time, I'm like, what if they are the rambunctious runaway type? Then right. it's you know, and, and it's it's kind of funny, but at the same time, leashing your kid, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm I'm against it, but I've also dealt with Liam running off, and that little fucker's fast. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we take him to the mall. And we're playing, you know, they have a little playground thing at the mall by Penny's. Yeah. So we're playing there. I look away for two seconds, and he bolts out into the mall and makes it halfway down the mall before I can catch him. That's how fast he is. Either that or I'm just slow and fast. I pray I for you. It's, it's a combination of the two, I think. <laughs> More so he's crazy and fast. Yeah. Like, I should have actually probably filmed what happened to catch him because I actually jumped over the, the bench Almost fell onto the table. Straight doing Olympic hurdles. It was awesome. I was like, "Oh no!" And and I wasn't as graceful as I thought it was. It wasn't really as cool. It was like way cooler in my head as I was right. playing it out. When it actually happened, it wasn't as cool. And people yeah, laughed. I bet. Yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> so let's let's talk a little bit about what we've got coming up. Yeah, on Dadcast because uh, obviously there's people watching and listening to this live. You'll get that info in real time. But uh, for those who haven't and don't, uh, we'll put this up on the YouTube channel. And uh, if you catch it in time, today is uh, Memorial Day 2022. By the time it's on YouTube, it should be quick enough. Um, if you're seeing this in the year 2027, hello from the past. Thanks for <laughs> checking out DadCast. What up? Hope things are amazingly huge. And hope we're still here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you know, send us a message to uh, check on the status of Liam and uh, the yeah. baby journey. We'll, yeah. we'll get you caught up from the future. Nick, we're talking into the future right now. This is crazy. I know. It's kind of weird. What do we got coming up here in the next few weeks on DadCast? I know well, one thing in particular, um, Father's Day is coming up. Yes. Well, it's actually before Father's Day. So let's talk about we have our first female guest. Yes. Coming on on mm -hmm. Friday. So I'm actually really excited about this. She's a fitness expert. She's a single mom. She uh, is a veteran. So... And she just seems like an all-around badass. I've talked to her a little bit through social media. She's a good friend of Brian Hopkins. Yeah. And like she sounds amazing. I'm excited to hear her story. So Friday, the I think it's June 3rd, she comes on. So. Yeah, we're recording that episode on uh, Friday, June 3rd. So expect that to drop yeah. within a week or so after that. Um, yeah. Then we got the Father's Day episode. This is our second annual 
Father's Day episode where we do our best to invite every single person who's ever been on the show back, and we get it. You know, we interview a lot of uh, celebrity types, and their uh, <laughs> schedules are busy. So the yeah, fact that we can get any of them on back yeah. is pretty incredible and awesome. And we've got about five, six, seven, eight guests coming on for Father's Day yeah. episode, which yeah, will right. air on Father's Day. Yeah, and there's quite a few really cool dads coming back. Uh, a few of the guys uh, in the bands we've had on apologize, but they're on tour, and they happen to be yeah. playing that Sunday that we're going to record the episode. So, yeah. So what can you do? And, and I just realized uh, right before we went on the air that. <laughs> uh, I've got some juggling to do. That's my bad. Normally, I'm the one who's spot on about these scheduling things, but I just, oh, yeah. I don't know and this is the it. first time I actually listened to about scheduling. I was like, don't schedule for Saturday. So I didn't schedule for Saturday. But for some reason, I thought the party would have been Saturday. I think, and I think it actually was uh, supposed to be on a Saturday, but something came up that was I, either another family member. I'm not sure exactly what it was and it got changed to Sunday and I didn't even think twice because when have we ever recorded a podcast on a Sunday? So my muscle memory was like, we're fine. And yeah. then, then you're like, oh yeah, we're doing that on Sunday. I'm like, oh, big fat F word. Yep. Yeah, to, to let everyone in on the, on the big secret, um, my daughter's birthday is tomorrow. She's going to be nine years old. Uh, May 31st. I'm so excited. But we're having a party this weekend, and it got shifted to Sunday at uh, 1 to 3 p.m. is the party. And this uh, episode of DadCast we're recording for Father's Day, which is very big. It's large. It's important to us. Um, is at 2 p.m. on that Sunday. <laughs> so right during present opening, cake having, playing, <clears throat> bouncy house jumping, the whole shebang of the party. I'm just going to suck it up, and I'm going to come back here and do it. And, you know, it might make for a crazy good episode anyway, Nick, because I have a, I have a crazy all of like 87 kids coming in and out of here at the same time. Yeah. I don't know. Now, I was going to say maybe if there's a possible way to run around with the camera, film the party a little bit, include the family. Maybe I can just pick up this trouble. big, gigantic iMac. I don't know. Maybe you do the Zoom from just my phone of, for that episode. Kind of carry it around the house. and Right. <laughs> and then, yeah, it just, it's yeah. part of being a dad, part of including the family yeah, in an we'll amazing see. podcast. If anything, I'm just going to shift the hours of the party. And JP doesn't get in trouble. We're going to do oh. the party from <laughs> 3 to 7 p.m. instead of, that's what we should do. Uh, okay, we'll figure it out. But anywho... Oh. That's exactly. what's going on in the world of DadCast in the very, very near future. We're pretty stoked on it. Um, oh, oh, oh. And we have a super ginormous country music star coming on the podcast at the end of June. Are we allowed to announce that yet? Yes. Is it booked? It's booked. It's confirmed. Is this the one where you told me to make a film in Vegas, which I forgot to do? Yeah, I'm, re I'm actually really disappointed in that. I made well, one of me yeah. that I was going to post, but you didn't post yours, so... Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You needed mine to post. Bull crap, son. You should... <laughs> Tell you what, I'll, I'll get my uh, daughter to do a video and I'll film there... it. Yes. And then I'll poke in or something because she's real good at doing that dance. Actually, you know what? I'm coming down tomorrow to see you. Yeah. We'll do, we'll, me, you, and your daughter will create be in school. School. Yeah. And it's her birthday. So <sighs> make it quick. So why don't you just not have her go to school so she can make it? TikTok. Because every year that I am able to, which I plan on doing until she graduates high school, is I literally barge into her schoolroom, classroom, on her birthday, and I give her a dozen roses and some Reese's peanut butter cups and balloons. And I am not missing that tradition for the world. We had her birthday on a weekend last year when she turned oh. eight. When she turned seven, COVID was going on, so she didn't have school. And the year before that was the last time I actually got to do it. So, and this is something I plan on doing, like I said, through high school. So, your school's out. It'll she be has out. to go to school. Maybe I'll go in early at like 10 a.m. and then just take her out of class for her birthday. But I still yeah. need to do that. But, yeah, I, come on, man. I cannot dance. I'm a fat guy who has not good. I used to be able to dance real good, but not these I'm, days. I'm an uncoordinated bodybuilder. This is going to be fantastic. <laughs> You're probably right. Oh. Anyway, Walker so, who, Hayes. so who is that? Yes, Walker, Walker freaking Hayes, Hayes oh is coming God. on Dadcast, man. Yeah, how and amazing is that? Apparently, he loves the podcast. Does he? 
That's what I was told by his manager. So well, I can, I, I'm going to be flat out blunt to you all right now. Um, I wish people and, and Bullhorn, I ain't calling you out. I'm not talking any badness, but I, we have one listener hanging on the show right now, Nick. One. What is going on, man? I know it's 10 a.m. on a holiday week. That's, that's what I'm going to attribute it to. But the beautiful thing about this is, regardless if we're live, you can go back and check it out anytime you would like. So uh, that'll be uh, going on there. Plus, this will be on the YouTube channel where we get thousands of views. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I'm excited for that. That's a big guest, man. That's a big day. What what, what day is that? It's the, the end of June. I think it's June 23rd or June 28th or something. Okay. I don't have, I don't have a scheduled party that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go down to Boatnik today, to the carnival. And go today is the last day of Boatnik in Grants Pass. Gonna, yeah, weekend. First time it's trip. been back in a couple years. Pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm going to just uh, do something I probably shouldn't do and hand out a bunch of dad cast shirts. Probably upset the uh, the people putting on the Boatnik. <laughs> well, that's right. Pump your brakes. We do not want to make bad impression. And Nick in the town of Grants Pass, whether you want to like to or not, and you always have good intentions, there's always someone who out there who thinks badly. So let's analyze and discuss live on the air <laughs> your uh, plan, your strategy for today. So you want to hand out some dad cash shirts. Uh, I'm okay. going to actually have Liam hand out the dad cash shirt, so it's a cute little kid doing it. Love it. Okay, yeah. that's a good plan. And he says, watch JP and Daddy. And Okay, so what is why would anyone be upset over that? Um, we we didn't you don't have a booth, we don't have a booth yeah, we there. Didn't buy a booth. I think next year though, we should probably get in the parade. And uh, oh, so I do a parade for 20 years of my life. I'm stoked that I finally don't have to do them anymore. And now you want to pull me back in? I really don't want to. Like, I'm not. No, I, you make I, a good I, point. Let's I'm do it. The, I'm probably the weirdest guy in town. I hate parades. I I hate them. Try being in them for 20 I years. Have been, I have been in them. I just I I hate them. But I I enjoyed I them for them. a while and sometimes I too, but it got to the point where I and if I didn't have kids, I'd still I there'd be no complaints. My biggest complaint was I had it was a like requirement that radio talent has to be doing the parade and being in right. the doing their thing. Uh my kids were finally of age where they could actually enjoy to watch a parade, and I wanted to take my kids to watch a parade, and it didn't matter. Though that shall not be named, would not allow that. Even though I'm like, this is very important to me. We have other DJs on this station. I am right. not. You, you, it does. You, you you want me? You don't need me. Please, just this one year, can I be a spectator and not a participant? And it never happened. But, well, so now I can't. That's so exist, though, you're the most popular DJ in the valley. Like, I understand that, but whatever the case, <laughs> and that's no longer the case. By the way, come on, there's got to be popular more popular than that i don't not even I, don't, I honestly don't think so man i don't think anybody right now has right now no that. i i i will I, i'm not going to name names but i will give hints they are not male so there you go it is a female okay possibly one or two of them yeah here in the valley that i truly believe is talented they're great they're mm -hmm. friends of mine and uh of course they're more they're on the air currently right now locally and of course they're more popular than me man that's you know, maybe I'm a little biased. I, you you are, but that's fine, and I appreciate it. But so I'm thinking you know, though, we do the parade next year. We bring yes. the kids. The kids join us. We'll put them in my truck, and we'll do something cool. We'll, we'll do. We'll off. make a float with Superman, and it, it made out of a jungle gym, and the kids Dude. will be strapped Dude. to it with we'll safety fly, harnesses. We'll fly Jack out and have the Batman of Spring Hill in Grants Pass with Dadcast. Boom. Done. Yes. Yeah. All right, sorry, sorry, you just got now. Come on, focus, camera. Jack Asbury, we just we just nominated you. <laughs> exactly. You're coming out, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a beautiful thing. All right, yeah. so Nick, man, I, I know we don't have to go an hour on this one, and it is a holiday weekend, so I would like to uh, recap and then end this on bitch and go enjoy the rest of our uh, holiday weekend. And uh, yes. I, I will be remiss again. Um, hope no one's missing the point of why you're getting today off. Um, it is not. To go out and barbecue, although that's fun and it tastes great. This is Memorial Day, so remember what uh, what this day is for, please. In all your celebrations, that's all I ask because I know I do. Uh, Nick is now 
in the thralls of pregnancy. <laughs> and uh, I wish you luck if you didn't hear earlier on the show. Uh, I He's in the middle of I, I, IVF. IVF. Yeah. Yeah. In, vit, in vitro fertilization. That's yeah, what IVF I, stands for. In, yeah. <laughs> in vitro. Yeah. In vitro. In, 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 yeah. in, in utero. In vitro, though. It's weird. But yeah, Very congratulations, weird. man. I'm glad, I'm glad it took. I hope things go well. And yeah. they continue to go well. That's going to be an amazing journey to follow. And uh, Bullhorn, thank you for having us on. We uh, we dig being on your platform. Uh, to everyone listening right now, and there are a few of you, I see it. Hello. Thanks for hanging out. Um, if you have a question, now would be the time because uh, we're about to end this thing. Just go ahead and type it in down there. Um, yeah, probably don't have enough time. Uh, <laughs> look forward to the amazing guests that are coming in on dadcast in the very near future um there's a lot of them and we're going to keep going with this thing until till the day we die we didn't last thing we didn't talk about nashville july oh. 8th Everybody, okay we're yeah i know off. right the most important thing going on in the world right now and uh we're talking about you and a baby i mean I know. I'm kidding. That's not because that's what's most important, man. That's what's most important. But yes, in July, Nick, Nashville. Yeah, Nashville. We're going to Johnny Cash's ranch. We're yes. partnered up with Save Homefront. Uh, yep. Nonprofit that helps veterans, which is Cowboy awesome, Jacks. Very awesome for today and every day. Um, but we are going to be in front of over a thousand people at Johnny Cash's ranch. We have Jason Michael Carroll joining us. Orange County Choppers joining us. We have some actors joining us. We're doing a movie premiere. We're doing a dad cast live with awesome people. Yep. And it's also going to be streamed on an app. So follow our social media. We'll have the app listed very, very soon. It's almost completed and ready to go. You download the app. You can watch the, the interview. You can watch the whole thing live from Johnny Cash's Ranch on this app. That's absolutely amazing. Carrie Underwood uses it. Kane Brown, Brooks yep. and Dunn. Um, so it's, it's very, very cool to be partnered up with this company and all the amazing things that are going to happen after Nashville. That's, yeah, it's going to be big, but for first things first, check it out, download the app when we announce what it is and uh, watch along with us as we perform dad cast and all kinds of cool stuff live from Johnny Cash's farm in Nashville, July 8th, right? Yeah, July 8th, I think it's 7 p.m. Central Time is when it starts. We'll we'll get all the details on social media, so just follow social media. And, uh, yeah, it's whew. good stuff, man. All right, man, for Mr. Nick Martin and myself, J.P. Pierce, thanks for hanging out, watching Dad Cast Live on Bullhorn. We appreciate you. We love you. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, like it up, subscribe, hate it, whatever the case, leave a comment. Leave two comments. Leave three if you're feeling real frisky. And uh, thanks for hanging four. out. Four. four. Okay. Jesus. I'm happy with one, man, just to be perfectly just tell, honest. Tell JP to stop dyeing his beard. It's freaking stupid. <laughs> I look terrific. We're, we're old, bro. We're old. <laughs> I don't want – I'm not ready to accept my fate just quite yet. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll catch all of you on the very next episode. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for listening, man. See you. Peace.